Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom account score in Apollo. Um, you can also do that this for contacts. Uh, it's pretty similar, but so to navigate this, um, you go to settings, top right corner, and then go over to scores under configurations. Um, you can build a new one, but I'm going to go through this. So I'm going to build this. The scenario is actually for my company, sasboost.io. We help actually set up Apollo um, and do out, out, outbound sales motions for companies. And usually it's for um, early stage growing SaaS companies. So there's a little bit that's kind of like my ICP or ideal customer profile. So I'm just going to build this account score with that in mind. Um, I named it early stage SAS. So we'll go through um, and just build a custom account score here, real world. And then I'll show you how it works, how to set it up, and then how to um, use it. So um, one of the, there's a bunch of different um, ways that uh, you can build this score. One of them is just some of this usual uh, demographic data, um, like number of employees. So um, I really want companies that are like basically 200 and under. So, I mean, there's no exact science to these scores, but, um, you know, I'm going to give basically 10 points for companies that are in those sizes. Some of the other filters you can add in here, revenue would be one, venture funding. So for me, actually, last funding round type, I either work with um, bootstrap companies or maybe like really early stage. Um, so I'm just going to do uh, basically if, if a company has their last round is like a seed or an angel round, that's usually pretty good. Um, once that if they're really venture backed, like they're, those are generally not companies that I'm going to work with. So, um, some the other thing is keywords for me. So basically, anybody that's doing SaaS, <clears throat> um, you know that's that's a good in very good indicator. I'm just going to make that very important. Um, sorry, I don't want more keywords, more filters. So technologies is another one that's really good so uh, apollo has this information technographic data in their uh, set as well um, hubspot is one is one that if companies are using this a lot of times we're pretty proficient in and doing integrations with um, and apollo integrates well with hubspot so that would be one that's a good indicator i'll add that um, you know, there, there's a few other things you can do here. The um, on the behavioral um, attribute side. Um, so I'll go to buying intent. So I've already built um, an intent data list in a, in Apollo. So these are like some of the keywords that I, I've been using. Um, so I'll just make this simple. But if any of these if any companies are uh, showing active research around these specific keywords, like if they're searching for sales consulting provider, sales engagement software, marketing automation consulting, those are the kind of companies that I can help a lot. So I'm going to um, put that as a high thing, as a high uh, score. Um, I'll do this as well for. Um, Sorry, that's high buying intent. Um, add another filter. So medium buying intent, I'll just give it a little less of a score for all of these. And I have another video that dives into more of uh, what buying intent is, how to work with it in Apollo, how to use it. Um, so, so check that one out. Um, so another uh, great use of Apollo and the custom scores are these account and contact lists. So you can build these separately. Um, one example here is I have deal front visits. So deal front is a pixel that I put on my website. I can identify accounts that have hit my website, but maybe not filled out a form or agreed to a demo. 
So, or a call. Um, so I pull that data into Apollo through an integration, add them to this account list. And now for me, I mean, anyone that's hit my website, I mean, that's a pretty good indicator. That's like first party data. Um, I'm going to put that as a 20 as very important. Um, so there's a lot more you can do on even using lists like account lists like that. Um, you know, I, I think uh, there's a lot of examples like you could upload maybe partner companies, like if you work well with them or other technologies that maybe uh, Apollo doesn't track. Uh, etc. So you can get pretty creative with the lists and then using those to inform the scores. So this should be a good enough uh, uh, model here to get started with. And this is the, okay, I got to delete this one. Um, and this is something that can definitely be uh, updated, these scoring models over time. So I just save this. I'm going to render the distribution, as they say. So Apollo just quickly went through and said, okay, there's 62,000 companies, not a fit, 50,000 are, are a fair fit, 424 are good, zero are excellent. Um, based on the my scores here, uh, you know, you can fine tune this to get, um, the numbers to kind of redistribute. And, you know, maybe if I change some of these things around, it, it might um, give me more um, like excellent accounts to go to over time. But even right now, like there's 424 that they're saying that are good. So to me, that's interesting now. Okay. What do we do with those 424? How do we get to them? Um, like what I would do now is go to companies um, and then I want to find those companies, maybe add them to a list and then dump the people in those companies that match my buyer persona into a sequence. So if you see, so right now I'm on companies, I'm going to search for scores. Um, so Actually, let me bust this out. So if you haven't set this up before, you need to change your, your uh, table layout to show scores. Um, so I'm going to do that. So here's my early stage SAS that I just created. So you have to create this like customized layout. It's a little annoying to me that it this is not um, already in there, but there it is. So now if I want to uh, use this as a filter, now I'm able to. So I know um, I want to find those 474, whatever it was, good accounts that had this score. So I'm going to apply that filter. Um, so now these are the accounts that based on that uh, custom scoring model I built, Apollo thinks are a good fit for me. And you can look over here and it's pretty cool because it tells you why it thinks it's a good fit. So like this first company, Get Accept, uh, this is actually a good one where, you know, the employee size fits in, they use HubSpot, they're a SaaS company, or at least they have SaaS in the um, description. So that's one where it might need to be fine tuned a little bit. And then they're in my deal front visits uh, list. So that means, you know, they visited my website. Um, and if we added more uh, score criteria in here, this data just gets better and better. Like usually when I work with companies, um, they might have 500 excellent fits and, you know, 2000 good fits. And then we can kind of prioritize which accounts or which contacts to go to based on that data. Um, but so all these companies, this is one way to use this data, but so there's 445 good fit companies here. I'm going to select them all. Um, I'm actually going to build a new list. This will just make it easier to track things for me, but I'm going to say, 
Apollo don't score. Um, so create this list. All these accounts are in this list now. Now, the other thing I can do is, so now I have all these accounts saved. I'm gonna select all these companies, find people at the companies. I'm going to, so I've built these uh, personas in here. So, you know, I'm usually working with um, like the founders or executives or marketing executives. I don't want people in finance. Um, so there's like 30,000 of these sorts of people based on that persona. And again, that's another one where depending upon who you're looking to reach out to, what the message is, you can get granular with that. You can build different personas, have different sequences and messages for different personas. So that's all, you know, great stuff. Um, that's very, you know, I don't want to say simple to do in Apollo, but the functionality is there. So there's 618 people um, at those 400 something accounts that kind of fit my criteria. Um, and if I wanted to, I can just grab all 600 of these people. I know the accounts are a good fit. I know the people, their titles fit well, and I could add them to a sequence that I've built previously. So I've, I have this, uh, um, SAS boost, um, outbound sequence here you can choose what emails you want it to come from. Um, you can even like, uh, if you wanted, if you have like 10 different inboxes, you can do kind of a round robin thing and, and spread it out over the inboxes. Um, and then if I, if I click save right there, it's going to drop all those people um, into that sequence. So that's um, how you would use custom uh, scores in Apollo to find the right contacts, the right people at those contacts and, and um, reach out to them in an automated way. Uh, there's other things you can do. One is um, on the score side, there's not only, um, sorry, company scores, but you can also create a contact score. So people score, and there's a, just a little bit of a different um, options there as far as some of the filters and things. And then the other thing that I think is cool is, um, you know, you can use these scores to create automations or as Apollo calls them plays. Um, so basically that account high, that uh, custom score account list is going to get um, automated, automatically updated over time, like new companies may be researching the topics or, you know, new funding happens, people, companies come in and out of that score. So you can set up some automations under plays to uh, make sure that you're always reaching out to who Apollo thinks are the best contacts and the best uh, accounts to reach out to. Thanks.